Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another gardening project. So that is all I do lately. <laughs> Spring is always the busiest time in the garden. So last year I planted these for salvia and like a lot of other things in the garden, they're perennials. So they've come back and they're just not quite in the right spots this year as they were last year. These three are fine, but this one is right under this beautiful hydrangea bloom. It is also right next to my stepping stone. So I'm going to move it right here and make this a little triangle a little further out from the hydrangea so that um, it's not getting overshadowed. So that is the first of several projects we have to do today. I also have some sweet peas to transplant, some foxgloves to plant, some begonias to plant, maybe one more thing, I don't know. But essentially we are planting and transplanting today and we are going to get started with this beautiful purple, it's supposed, to, it's pink, but it's purple, uh, salvia. So I'm just going to go ahead and dig it up, getting as much of the roots as I can since it is a perennial and it is in its second year and then I'm just going to plant him right here. I think that will be much better because he is getting stepped on a little back here and shaded out by the hydrangea just a bit. Sorry, the car just went by. I said he's getting stepped on and shaded out. Oh, I tell you, my knee is killing me. Let's go ahead and Dig us a little hole. is pretty soft because I had vincas planted all throughout here last year. I'm going to have to transplant those babies soon. Let's see what we can get here. And of course, this is the biggest one with the most blooms. You know what? Let me get the big shovel. Get it from this side. Make sure we're watching our soaker hose in there. See if we can't ease them out of here now. Eight traps planting things. Okay. He's got some good roots. It's good. Gonna move as many to the dirt behind as we can and just take the roots. And
come over here because I underestimated my hole. Obviously, I am trying to make my new hole without disturbing the roots of the other plants as much as possible. down in the hole, all the better for the plants. That looks pretty good. Sure as snug as a bug as a rug. Fill the hole in. stone back because this is my main path to get back to the water and that looks much better for this little guy. Now these are spent blooms. You can see this is what the blooms look like. I do like these salve because even once the blooms are done the, the bloom stalks look pretty but this is a new bud I could cut that off because, you know, you want to establish those roots more than the blooms. But he has a pretty good root system. We're going to give him a day or two and just see how he does. Start being wilty and not so good. We'll come give him a little prune to help him establish. Water him in. And there we go. On to the next one. All right, so next on the agenda, we have my sweet peas. And I planted these here, hoping they would grow up the bird bath because they were just extras that I had, but they're really not doing good here. Now that I'm moving things over by the fence, let me go ahead and move them over there. So let's start just coming in and kind of cutting them. So they're easier to take out. They needed to be pruned a couple weeks ago anyways when I did the other ones. Just too long. Prune them back after they're four inches so that they will start growing in even bigger and bushier. That's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this and then we will take them over and plant them at the new spot.
All right, y'all, I am literally a hot mess, but we got all the sweet peas moved. I had more of them than I thought. You might've noticed some had really good roots and some had skinny roots. I planted two varieties, so I don't know if that's the difference in um, the ones that mature later in the season versus early in the season, or if that's just how some of the plants grew. But I've put them back here. I've got drip run to all of them. This spot does get full sun in the morning, shade in the afternoon. If I was picking out a spot specifically for the sweet peas, I do more full sun all the time, but I need something to grow on this fence. And I had a bunch of extra sweet peas. The ones I'm growing that are in the right spots are up front in the full sun. So I figured, you know what, I'll pop these back here and um, we'll just see how they do to cover this fence. My shed is going in right here so I'm trying to pretty up this area depending on how they do I might grow something else different back here next year but at least we got them moved um, and then this area will keep evolving as it goes so I got my fox gloves in I am still on a mission to add more fox gloves everywhere so that they will reseed and come back more next year I'm also going to be I think doing some milk jugs with a bunch of the camelot variety which blooms their first year this winter, but I am the hottest of hot messes. So I'm gonna go in and take a break before I do the begonias and then we'll be done planting things for the day. So, <sighs> salvia check, um, foxgloves check, sweet peas check. We still need to do a few of the other um, salvias that have seeded themselves in the walkway, but I keep going back and forth on whether we're doing that this today or not, because only about two of them are really big enough to move. I think I might need to wait a week or two before I really move those or they're just gonna be too little. So we'll see for now break. Okay, I thought I bought too many, but that was literally like the perfect number of begonias to go all the way around the tree and over towards where it meets up with the petunia and the verbena and the other annuals. So as you can see, there are other begonias over here. These are the ones that came back last year and they're not doing bad, but they're, they're not growing super well, you know, not like my petunias and my verbenas and the other things that were planted this year. And they never grew really well for me last year. So I just don't know if these begonias are just not the best. Maybe they're just never gonna grow super great and I need to take them out. They're annuals, so I don't know why they came back, but I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna add some more. So we started right here and this one's probably a little too close, but it was the last one I had. so. If it is, I can always pop it out and move it up here. Or I really wanted to put one right here, but I have one, two, three old begonias right there. So we're gonna see how these do. Might pop it in right here. But this petunia is going to get huge. That's one of those proven winner super tunia vista bubblegums. They get massive. You can see all the way down, I've got them dotted throughout. That's the main plant. These are the first ones in my window boxes that I planted. The main plant that I planted this year, last year I did vincas, this year trying the petunias. So we started with begonias here. We went all the way over in front of my peony. We've got the gumprina behind it, so that'll be nice. These peonies I just planted, um, I'll link to that video below. So don't think they're going to bloom this year, which is why I'm putting annuals around them. It's going to be a couple years before they get big, need this whole area. And at that point, the annuals will be gone. So we've got our lobelia here. Come around here. We've got one, two, where those two pink tags are. 
peony tubers that I just planted and I hope they're doing okay because um, this one's poking out of the ground just a little bit and it was really dry so I moved the hose over so he gets more water um, but we went all the way around back in front of the hydrangea you can see where the gumfrina starts my um, lupin is still alive but you know it's it's past time for him this season so I think I need to come in and clean him up a little but this little corner is pretty much done I could I mean I could keep going with begonias down here around the hydrangea because we have irises here and they're not going to bloom anymore this season um obviously the lamb's ear doesn't bloom the hibiscus will bloom however so I could put a few more begonias just right in here could get one more four pack and if the store has more I might but there you go so let's go ahead and walk on down here see everything we did so we moved the sweet peas from right here this looks much better and all of these petunias will fill in right here around my little bird bath he needs refilled and juiced a little <laughs> just kind of popped him back in there after I pulled those sweet peas out but this will be really pretty once it's fall then still need to fix my light I also have quite a few zinnias in here that reseeded from last year and the vincas that reseeded so those need either distributed better or transplanted. So maybe doing that in a later video, but here's our Salvia. He's still looking okay. A little droopy, but you know, first day in a new house, a little droopy from the sun. And then we come across and we see the new foxglove. He's not planning to put so many foxglove right here per se. But I do want them to really recede heavily over here. And I have lilies coming up. But the foxglove and the lilies, those are all spring things. So, you know, later in the season, we may put some more annuals in here. But they're just so pretty. This is the new flower bed. So it's, you know, whew. you guys must just watch me fall all the time still coming along and this foxglove the white one i think it is completely dead but i'm gonna leave it because i want him to recede and this one is actually putting up dun, 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 quite a few new bloom stocks so i thought he was gone but i think he is he is still rocking and then we come along and this is what i was talking about here <laughs> where we need to move some of these salvias out of the past. But this is the only good size one. There's one there. 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 There's one, two, three, four, five, six under here. Two more here. One more there. So, I mean, they're just kind of all over right in here. This is where I got the rest of them. There's there's dozens um, that are coming up now that weren't here before. So definitely going to have to pull those up and put them back in the salvia field so that I have even more salvias. But that leaves us with our sweet pea fence and hopefully this will fill in. Girls want to say hi. My backyard is just like the ugliest part of my house. So my shed's going to go here. I am trying to hide it. And like I said, we might, we might do roses or something else prettier next year, but got the sweet peas. Might as well use them. Either way, I'm done for the day. The girl is going to take a shower. I figured I'd give you an update on the cucumbers since we're passing by them getting just a couple up here dun, 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 dun. so hopefully we'll be able to start 
picking cucumbers soon. That'd be nice because this plant has gone haywire. We're still getting lots of strawberries. Oh, we do have three blooms. Of course, they're backwards, but they're beautiful. Look how pretty that is. But we have more coming and they will be facing this way. So that is all for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, show your friends, tell your mom. You guys need to tell me when I have dirt on my face. Oh, I always have dirt on my face. I don't know how some of these YouTube gardeners do it without getting messy. That's not me. I'm not that girl. Going to take a shower. See y'all later.